Hello, my name's Paul Horn, uh, and I'm going to talk about an IPM in strawberries uh, approach that we've developed in Australia. And this is a collaboration between myself and Rebecca Addison. So to us, there's only three ways of controlling pests in any crop, uh, including strawberries. And they are biological, cultural, and pesticides. So the biological controls are simply the insects and mites that eat the pest insects and mites. Uh, they can also include pathogens, but primarily I'm gonna deal with the invertebrate biocontrol agents. Cultural controls are simply management techniques that impact either the pests or the beneficials. And so they're under the control of, of the farmer. The third one, pesticides, uh, is very much a support tool in an IPM approach um, and certainly not the primary means of controlling pests. Uh, so what we try and do is integrate those three control methods so that they work together in a compatible way. And I think it's important to, to note that there aren't really any other control options. This is what we've got and this is uh, what we have to work with. So to put that into a table format, what I've tried to do first of all is list the pests that we have to deal with. That's the starting point for any IPM program. And the pests that I've nominated here are things that we've had to deal with in, in certain strawberry crops, uh, but in, depending on the location, sometimes there'll be more pests, sometimes there'll be less pest species to deal with. So if we say most crops, we have to look at controlling two-spotted mite and western flower thrips. Uh, sometimes aphids and whitefly are sucking pests that are important. And occasionally we have weevils that uh, are a concern. So that's the pest complex we have to deal with. So against those, we have a range of beneficial species. And probably the most important starting point is the use of persimilis to control two-spotted mite. Uh, it's, there are other mites that are, are important predators, but persimilis is, is the main one. I've also nominated a ladybird, a little tiny black ladybird called Stetherus, which occurs here in uh, outdoor crops. It's not commercially available, but it can have an impact on pest populations. For Western flower thrips, uh, the most important predators are Cucumerus, a predatory mite, and Aureus, a predatory bug. Both of those are produced commercially here. Uh, but we also have native thrips that are predatory, and they eat western flower thrips and can have a significant impact in some outdoor situations. For aphids, uh, the main biocontrol agents can be parasitoid wasps, and also the predators, hoverflies, uh, ladybirds of different species, and probably brown lacewings. So most of those predators are available, uh, not commercially, but are naturally occurring. Uh, parasitoid wasps are available commercially for some species, but not others. For whitefly, uh, there's a couple of wasps that are are uh, really important. One, the main one that's been around for a long time is Encarsia, and there are also species of Eretmoceris, another, um, another parasitoid wasp that attacks uh, whitefly. So they're the important biocontrol agents for those pests, and depending on the species of weevils that might be present, uh, it is possible to use nematodes in some cases uh, to control the grub stage below the ground. So the last, um, last column to fill in is uh, the use of pesticides. So the last column that I've, I've filled out here is uh, what pesticides are available for certain pests. And there isn't uh, a, a particular soft option for every pest. So I've listed three miticides which can be used. Um, 
and there's a question mark next to each one of them because these are reasonably safe with beneficial species that we've nominated, but uh, the question is whether they will work on the pest because of resistance. For exactly the same reason, I've suggested that there are no uh, pesticides that we would recommend for use against Western flower thrips because it's resistant to uh, pretty well everything that's available uh, in the crops that I've looked at. For aphids, there's a couple of uh, selective sprays that could be used if necessary. Uh, Pyramore uh, is probably not going to work on green peach aphid in many situations. And Versus is a relatively new product and so registration issues are probably the main concern there. For whitefly, there's some insect growth regulators that could be used uh, that would be safe to most of those beneficial species. But once again, uh, resistance and registration make those products quite uh, limited. And I'll just finish off by saying if there's uh, a new pest that you haven't dealt with before, there's a temptation often to just eradicate it uh, with a broad spectrum insecticide. And if that's done, uh, it may or may not control the new pest, but it will uh, eliminate the biological control agents that we've got for the main pests of concern. So really look at um, what the options are before uh, reaching for the quick knockdown. Thank you.